um, almost exactly a year since Amy Dowden found a lump which led to her being diagnosed with breast cancer. And as you know, she's since had successful treatment. And today she's going back to her roots. She joins me live from Blackpool ahead of the British Dance Championships. Good morning, Amy. It's so good to see you back where you belong on the dance floor. Um, it's wonderful to see you back in Blackpool, but I'm sure this moment must feel quite poignant, really. It's been a tough year for you, Amy. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Oh, good morning, Christine. I'm doing really well, thank you. Yes, and I'm back in the incredible Empress Ballroom. But yes, a year ago, I was here with my students and I found the lump and was flying off on honeymoon the next day. But I can't believe in this last year, I've come full circle from mastectomy to grueling chemotherapy treatment, a few obstacles along the way, but it all worked and I've been given another shot at life. And I'm so grateful for that. I really am. And you do, you feel like you've got your spark back and you're ready to take the world on again. And we've missed you on Strictly. And I'm sure being back there on the dance floor, you just have that burning desire to get back out there. Is that the hope, Amy? Oh, absolutely. I miss being on Strictly so much last year. I've missed dancing. I've been working with my physio team, who are incredible, because I've got a new upper body. I haven't danced in a year. And that is the goal for me to get back with my Strictly family. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed is right. We can't wait to see you back out there, Amy. And of course, Blackpool holds a very special place for you and probably the majority of dancers, in fact. But you won the British Championships here with your husband. Yeah, this ballroom, it is the home of ballroom dancing. When I walked in here when I was eight years old, I said, Mam, I want to be a professional dancer. And for my husband and I, you know, we cherish this ballroom so much because it was where we won the British National Championships together. And so many uh, young dancers, you know, the, the aim is to get there, like you say, Amy, but it's also where a lot of dancers get spotted. In fact, strictly stars have been spotted there. They have, and we actually have some here now. We have, you might recognize Luca and Pebble, actually. They danced on Strictly Come Dancing as little Amy and um, professional Kai. And this week at the British Championships, they have been crowned European champions and British Open champions, and will be dancing again later today. Tell me, how does it feel to be champions? Um, great and amazing. It was just a pleasure to dance on this wonderful floor of Winter Gardens Blackpool. It really is the best ballroom, isn't it? Now, Pebble, Luca, tell me, who's the bossiest one? OK, I'll leave you to decide on that one, but best of luck for today. I'll be watching. Now, we have couples train from all over the world and come to compete here in Blackpool. And here we have Dominican and uh, Juliana. And tell us, guys, where have you travelled from to be here? Um, America all the way from America and Juliana. How many hours a day do you train? Three to nine hours every day. And this is why they are global superstars. See, that is determination and commitment. Best of luck, guys, OK? Yes. Rooting for you. And we also have our international panel of adjudicators. Here, all the way from China, we have Liu Ning. Now, tell us, when did you first come to Blackpool? Wow, um, that time is uh, 15 years old. Wow, and it really is. It's like the dream, isn't it, to dance in Blackpool? Yeah, that's really true. That's why we bring a lot of Chinese to come here, yeah. to dance here. It's incredible. And here we have our famous <laughs> Lilia Kopilova, who won Strictly in 2005. Now, as you've seen, have you seen any future Strictly professionals? Oh, Amy, the, the level is absolutely outstanding. These days, what these kids can do it's absolutely incredible. And just to watch them dance is incredible, but never mind judging them. So it's been really, really tough, I have to say, because these kids are just too good these days. Yeah, oh, thank you, Lilia. And, you know, you're an inspiration to me as well. Now, Gora Norden, uh -huh. now, you've judged me on this very floor. I finally want to know, how do we impress you? Well... Uh, not so easy, actually, because when you get up to this level where you're looking at this couple exactly as Lilia Sell, they are so good and all under the age of 16. Um, some priorities we have, of course, dancing to the music and um, the right inspiration of the dance and characterization. Right. Show them. Come on. <laughs> Let's show them. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. Ha. Are you ready? Tick, 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 tick. 
It is so lush to be back dancing. I'm going to be here all week long. But thanks so much, Christine, for talking to me. And everybody, keep dancing. Keep dancing. Oh, Amy, thank you so much. It's so good to see you all up there. I could watch that all day.